Tom, if you had two wishes, what would they be? I thought in a fairy tale it was three wishes. <laughs> well, number one, this here ain't no fairy tale. And B, you know, everyone always wishes for world peace. Don't know why. That's good. All right. Eternal youth and immortality. Now, see, that's against the rules, Tom. There are rules? Of course there's rules, Tom. There's rules for everything. Now, you have to change someone else's life with one of your wishes. Time's up, Tom. What's it gonna be? To sit with my wife and watch the snow fall. Oh, Tom, you old romantic you. What if I told you that I could grant your wish? <laughs> Tell me how she died, Tom. Cancer. Everything will give you cancer, Tom. The question is, why did you let her die? Can I offer you some gum? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I told you a hell of a lot just for the privilege of causing you pain. Actually, they do a good job in here. A friend of mine, she had lots of work done. Didn't feel a thing. Generous with the anesthetic. <clears throat> um. I belong for you. Means 
I can't share your toothbrush? No, it, um, it means... I'm afraid of needles. Oh, the talk about anesthetic must have been really reassuring then. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's... Honestly, the talking kind of makes me take my mind off of everything. Talking I can do. It's, um... Saying the right things at the right time. That's the challenge. <laughs> okay. I told you my secret. The way I figure, you owe me one. I'm gay. <laughs> Wait, that's... That's real? I mean, that's... That's a real secret? I can't believe, actually. I actually said it. <sighs> so I'm, I'm, I'm either... Does anyone else know? You're the first one. No one knows. I feel really privileged that you would share that with me. This, that's huge. I, it kind of makes my whole needle thing seem a little insignificant. So, why me? Because you asked. No one ever asked me before. Mr. Smith, can you come through now, please? Hey. It's lovely to talk to you. Yeah. Hope I didn't freak you out too much. No, no, no. It was honestly, you did me a huge favor. I want you to give me a call, okay? For whatever. Okay, cheers. All right. I'm gonna go get needled now. Wish me luck. It was a pleasure meeting you. Hey, I'll hold your hand. To start anywhere, we must start from the beginning. Most all things. We were born in a small farm out in Tennessee. Well, yes, I tell you, come on, sir, tell God, not not tell me, yes, get, get, get out of here. Did this old need? You little bit, and you done, and you did do it, and then, come over here and you lay and lay and do it. King Tango told you, Susu Rodeo. The piggery riggery part is very high in financial success. It is now U.S. franchise, and soon, all over the Rufus world. This began to symbol an icon for Piggly Wiggly. They were later on brought out by these two gentlemen. Hi, 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 hi. Very big pockets you give us. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of money. Hi, hi. I'm wasting my time picking up my body. He's always needing a Why does anybody rob a bank? I don't care about anybody or everybody for that matter. 
What I'm concerned with is why did you rob the motherfucking bank? I, I needed the money. Calm down! Gosh. Look, it's the last job, you know? The big score. As a matter of fact, I'm going straight. Straight? Yeah, straight. When were you crooked? When I robbed the bank. Oh, the dog, oh, just shut up. Just shut your fucking mouth. Tommy, I don't- No, what... no, just stop talking. You just... It's, uh, not a word. Not one word. What's that supposed to mean? It's not supposed to mean anything. What it flat out does mean is that you're the fucking douchebag who got us all into this in the first place. And I can't speak for Max, but you should stay away from me for at least a few days. Make it a week.